Welcome to the video. We've got a current affair. We've got Tracy Grimshaw. I would love to shred some kilos off Tracy Grimshaw. Put it on a high carb, doing a lot of protocol, vegan lifestyle. All right, let's check it out. I'll pause the video as we go. Share my comments and criticism after being vegan. Coming up 19 years this April. Let's, let's roll. Now, some people think veganism is just for hippies, but the food industry is struggling to cater for its rapidly growing popularity. Supermarkets are getting on board, along with fast food giants, even ice cream makers. But the meat lovers are hanging on to their T-bones. Ah, the great Aussie barbecue. Don't you love it? It's part of our culture. Family, friends, weekends. But do you know... Bowel cancer, heart disease, obesity. More than 2.1 million Australians no longer eat meat and that number is growing by the day. It's great. It's really not that different to life as a non-vegan. I think our bodies were designed for the nutrients that we get from meat. This is hot work. Can somebody get me a vegan beer? Or a Cooper's Pale Ale? I think Cooper's actually is vegan. <laughs> this is the hot new trend, veganism. Veganism, yep. Could you be a vegan? Uh, I seriously doubt it. I feel like the problem is that so many people are trying, are putting the label on as being a vegan and it scares people away. Sounds like a Hollywood movie, doesn't it? The vegans versus the meat eaters. And in fact, just last week, Tinseltown got a real life taste of the topic. Whether we're talking about gender inequality or animal rights, we're talking about the fight against injustice. Why did you become a vegan? It was for ethical reasons. So I was a meat eater for 27 years and then I watched a documentary called Earthlings, which um, talks about how animals are treated in food, fashion, medical testing industries. And I went from meat eater to vegan overnight. That documentary was produced by Joaquin Phoenix. Make the connection, Earthlings. Tonight, back home, three perspectives on veganism. Ash, the vegan. Tammy, the vegetarian turned meat-eating butcher, and my introduction into the world of no meat, no dairy, and no eggs. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. But I don't mean meat as in the... Hey. <laughs> in the nicest possible way. <laughs> so that's good. So this, I don't know who this guy is. He's wearing a cruelty freeze chop. I like how he's got a sense of humour, you know what I mean? Like, that's what a lot of vegans, a lot of people, not even vegans, a lot of people in, in general don't have a freaking sense of humour. So that's great, you know, a bit of banter, and it just shows us vegans that we are everyday people as well. That's really good. Sense of humour is very important at being a vegan ambassador. Let's roll. Paul runs a cruelty-free shop in Collingwood, Melbourne. Everything is vegan. And how's this? Worldwide, vegan produce is the new cash cow. In five years, the global vegan food market will be worth $24 billion. OK, Paul, start me off on my vegan journey. Bacon rashes. You yeah, can have cheap, bacon, cheap bacon, bacon, eggs, wire wire. salami, meatballs, even a roast. And there's not an animal in sight. Tammy, you've gone from a vegetarian yep. to a butcher. Not just a butcher, but a meat-eating butcher. Why? Well, because I was vegetarian because I didn't like how animals were treated in industrial agriculture. So I figured I had to grow them and butcher them myself. <laughs> Why? What? Why do we have to kill animals? What's going on? Let's listen to it. Let's listen to her debate. Come on. Here on Tamik's property, there's plenty of animals. On the chopping block, wrapped in plastic for sale, and on the trotter in the paddocks. Not a vegan's paradise. <laughs> vegans like animals. Yeah, not dead ones. <laughs> but they should want animals to be raised like this for those of us who are eating them. <laughs> I think the argument is like, why are we still eating animals in 2020? I mean, look at these pigs. They look so cute. Everyone, you know, you could bring your kids to the little pig, little pig joint, the pig zoo, the pig pen, the pig prison, whatever you want to call it. The kids are going to be loving the little piggies. They're going to be scared of the pigs or they're like cuddly with the pigs. No, no kid is going to want to bite into a pig. Okay. That's just like the bait is done with that. Yeah, if you put a baby in a room with a pet pig, a baby pig, and if the baby bites into the pig and tries to eat it, I'll buy a new house. There is a lot of good evidence to suggest that we need to all be eating more plants. Nicole Dynan is a dietitian. Jeez, that's, that's amazing. When I, when I did a current affair back in 2007, remember that? It was on Today Tonight, a current affair back in the vegan 2007. They roasted me. 2020, 20, 13 years later, it is very pro-vegan. That's really cool to see.
She thinks we should eat less meat, but there is a caveat. We know that meat does contain a lot of amazing nutrients like protein and uh, zinc and iron. And, and so does every single plant food. Omega-3s and B vitamins. And so does every plant food. So if we just cut that out and we don't plan um, how to get those nutrients from other food. Here's, the, here's what they do, is they're trying to make a vegan diet complicated. Look, I've been a vegan, not just a vegan, but a vegan athlete since 2001. My diet is basically fruit, rice, and sugar, and fresh vegetables. Fruit, rice, sugar, fresh vegetables. I eat a bit of beans, a bit of nuts here and there, a bit of vegan Domino's pizza, a bit of vegan burgers at Hungry Jack's, a bit of soy milk here and there. But my staple is fruit, white rice, and white refined sugar. I have no deficiencies. I hardly take any supplements. And the ones I do take isn't to do with veganism, it's due to cycling and running. So this whole thing of like, well, you have to be bad, it doesn't. You just have to get enough carb calories, all right? This lady's not even an athlete. It's good that they're pro, but this this whole thing. Well, we got you can. It's okay to do it, but you've got to be planned. No, you just have to eat enough carbs. So you got the energy. So you don't become a glucose exhausted, pale, weak, anemic vegan like that guy called Mike the Vegan on YouTube. He's look. He looks bone white, and he's got no fitness at all. You don't look like that or Dr. Gregor. You don't look like those guys. Those guys are anemic, orthorexic vegans. Let's go on with it. Foods in our new diet then we could leave ourselves short. Well, for breakfast, for the kids and I, we had some chia seeds with some plant milk. And hey, hey whoa, whoa, chia seeds with plant milk? That's, that's how many calories, that's like 50 calories? Where's the cornflakes, where's the fruit, where's the cereal, where's a bit of sugar? And also a smoothie. Oh, a smoothie, okay, good. You treat the animals kindly and ethically yep. until you kill them. Yes. Well, that, that was pretty good, wasn't it? You treat them kindly and ethically until you kill them. But it was old mate going vegan or what? This, look at his eyes. He's looking at it like, holy shit, we kill these little cute fuckers. That's pretty amazing. You treat them kindly and ethically until you kill them. Imagine that, the, the judge over a murder trial... So you, you treated, you know, the defendant lawyers, well, uh, Your Honor, uh, he, the, the defendant treated the kids very kindly and very ethically until he put them in the car and set them on petrol. I don't think that's going to fly in any judge in any courtroom around the world. I don't think it's immoral to eat animals. It's basically this concept that animals are not ours to use. Emily Rice from PETA. People for the ethical treatment get, of animals. Veganism, she says, is so much more than diet. And then beyond that, moves into the fashion. You can sort of tell she's a vegan. She sort of looks hot. She's got the piercings. She looks edgy. You know, she would, probably a bit of a freak between the sheets, the vegan sheets. So yeah, you can tell this chick's a vegan. She's got the, the jawline going on there. She's a classic vegan stereotype. This isn't what she's got to say. And she works for Peter, so she's got a bit of passion there. Sphere, so we're talking about wool and leather, of course, fur. It's an ethical philosophy, a moral stance around animals' rights. And the more extreme vegans take their passion and their politics to our streets. I like how he said the more extreme vegans. That's good, because it's not painting that all vegans do this. Now, my opinion about this stuff, I think it's, it's definitely got a place. I used to do this stuff back in 2004. And I sort of stopped doing it because I realized that it wasn't really doing that much. But what's doing a lot is social media. That's what's doing everything. You know, weight loss, health, the the bodybuilder stuff, the fake natives, whatever you want to call it. That's what's really shifting it on. And I know all these these uh, vegan activists on YouTube now, James Askby, Carbstrong. I helped them all get on YouTube. And it was following that vegan money that got them inspired. So it is definitely serving a place. But I don't think this is really getting the mainstream going on there. But uh, I think what's getting on, going on is the bikini babes and the muscle guys and the athletes. That's what, and then the game changes documentary. The game changes earthlings. That's what's really getting things going. This stuff has a place, so keep it up. Just make, just be a bit more smiley though. A bit more smiley. And to our farms. Animal liberation now! I've had death threats from vegans. See, that's, I don't know. <laughs> that's, this is Ray on that. We'll mute it for a second. Um, I understand why this, I understand the passion behind this girl, you know, I understand the, the frustration, and I get it, I've been vegan 18 years, but I don't, I don't, this isn't, this isn't going to be mainstream, no one's appealing to the mainstream, like as a vegan, as a human, I can identify with, with her anger and frustration and stuff like that, but
but that's not no one's no mainstream is going to go wow I'm, I'm going to yeah I want to do this no 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 you, that, this is I would say 99.9% of the people in, in the planet would agree with me this is not appealing now remember what Peter did they dressed up the girls in the bikinis and lettuce leaves that was appealing for mainstream that got people thinking this oh, you know what do you do what do you do I mean it's glad they're out there I'm glad they're out there but this is too it's too full on you know it's too much of a shock for people even though it's the truth Animal liberation, we want it now for sure. Meet the victims. It's all true, but society's still a bit sleepy. It bores me. Uh, after alarming me initially, now it just bores me. A lot of my vegan friends get death threats. From and, who? Uh, from farmers, from meat eaters. I think it's on both sides, it's pretty horrific. Why do you eat meat? Because it's good for you. If yeah. I can. Oh, they chose a, an obese person to ask that question. That was a bit sneaky, wasn't it? Live a life without, without me causing pain to any living being, then I will choose to live that life. So you are a... Ethical omnivore. You're an ethical... <laughs> ethical omnivore. <laughs> omnivore. Which means Tammy eats meat, which she says she farms ethically. Ethical farming's an oxymoron. Um, there isn't really any way to kill a... Someone who doesn't want to die. I'm a vegetarian, basically, but I do have some meat. What does that make me? Well, I guess... What did he... He said he's a vegetarian, but he has some... Wow, he's got, this guy in a year's time, he's going to be knocking on the vegan door. He's probably going to be banging that chick from the Peter. I guess that's a flexitarian, which is just wishy-washy as all hell. Ooh! See what she's did here? She's just flaming him, wishy-washy. And his body language? He's like, all right, F you, baby. I'm looking straight at the cameraman. Look at that body language. He's got the fist clenched, she's going for a little right jab, and she's laughing like passively aggressively. She's holding the knife. And she's got the 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 right the left hand raised up. You know, interesting. Look at the body language here, look at the tension. This wasn't very funny. Listen, what's the what's the reaction? I'm a flexitarian. <laughs> cheese, blue vein cheese. Yeah, I love that. Blue vein cheese. Right. The weirdest the... item here, plant-based vegan roast. This young lady calls herself a local. See, he's interested, isn't he? He's interested, this reporter. Of all, eating only locally produced food. So a lot of the vegan food I'm finding now is just really over-processed and over-packaged and it in involves a lot of imported food, so there's a lot of food miles involved. In, or this is <laughs> food miles. She's driven a car here with <laughs> oil from Iraq. She's wearing Chinese cotton from an organic cotton farm in China. She's using hair care, hair dye product from overseas. She's sitting on furniture made in China. Come on, let's not talk about local stuff too much, baby. Good kilometers involved in it as well, so it's never just a simple black and white issue. New day, new diet. Oh dear. Actually, it's not bad. Fake roast beef. I think veganism is the future. I do have a beef with that. No, it's not for me. Not this sort of food, but vegan diet may be a different thing. Bit tasteless, but pretty good. Look, I had a crack, okay? You don't need this. Just go without your bacon and eggs and go without the cheeses and whatever. Yeah, be nice to your animals. What is going on here? This is pretty rad. It's, it's right, you don't need this stuff. I mean, if you want something that's really like, I would say the, the Hungry Jack's Rebel Whopper, that's very, very, you know, like it reminds me of the Whopper I used to eat when I was a kid. So a lot of this stuff can be a bit dry and bland. But yeah, your rice, your fruit, your cereal, Kellogg's sustained, bit of sugar, a bit of soy milk or rice milk on there. It's, it's a spot. Rice, pizza. Everyone loves a pizza. You know, Domino's do a great pizza. All around Australia. Oh, you get Hungry Jack's burgers. What else you got? You got all the chips and stuff like that. You, but again, you got your simple things. Pasta, rice, bread, toast and jam, avocado on toast, fruit, fruit smoothies, water, sugar, a bit of soy milk, fruit salad, you know, cereals. The good stuff, vegan ice creams, sanitarium, so good ice cream is really good. So you've got plenty of options, sugar, sweet drinks, all the good stuff. We're running a Facebook poll to see if you'd consider trying a vegan or vegetarian diet this year. 41% of you say you will, while 59% won't. There is still time to cast your vote on our Facebook. Wow, that's, uh, gee, wow, that's uh, very, very progressive. That's very, very fantastic. Tracy Grimshaw, baby. Again, contact with my girlfriend, Natasha. We could shred Tracy back to what she was the the glory the glory years back in the day. I, I can tell Tracy's been doing yo-yo dots on and off. But uh, this is very very positive. Um, I just want to 
This reporter here, he's definitely got a personal interest in this story. Let's look, just look at his body language. Yeah, be nice to your animals. <laughs> what did he just say? What did he just say? Just go without your bacon and eggs and go without the cheeses and whatever. Yeah, be nice to your animals. Just One more time. Your bacon and eggs and go without the cheeses and whatever. Yeah, be nice to your animals. So this is Martin King. All right, Martin King is a, a, a reporting journalism legend here in Australia. And to be honest, I didn't think he was the sort of guy. You know, even though he does look, he's sort of looking in shape. He's sort of looking trim. You know, so look at a bit of a body shot. He does look. Look at him. He looks like he's into his aesthetic. He's got his shirt. He's he's looking slim and fit. So this is Martin King, but look at the body language. He's he's genuinely interested in this. You know, the the our shop assistant friend here, the cruelty free shop, vegan assistant, he's got a pretty relaxed body language, he's looking in there, he's not, not sure if you know, Martin's gonna like it, but Martin's he's genuinely going with this. This is Martin King, alright? This is let's mute this here for a bit. This is Martin King. This is this is promising uh that Martin King is sort of trying these things. I'd love to take Martin King out shopping. I'd love to show him some vegan recipes. Easy stuff, you know. And look at the body language here. You, you can tell he's sort of a bit like, he's just, you know, questioning and looking at, you know, this is this is powerful. Martin King has got a vested interest here. And he's very, this is very, very, uh, I did not expect this. I have not watched this before. I did not expect it. It's, uh, Martin King is linking the dots. He's uh, joining the dots. He's making the connection. This lady has lost the connection. You know, once you go vegetarian, then go back into killing animals or eating animals at this level as well, like actually killing them and promoting it. That's when you've gone a little bit psychotic, in my opinion. That's sociopathic, psychopathic to go, yeah, I'm going to kill animals. I'm going to raise the pigs ethically and kindly, but we're going to kill all your little piggies. That's really nuts. That's, that's sociopathic, man. That is nuts. Anyway, Martin King... Uh, wow, that's uh, impressive, bro. Get in contact with me on Instagram if you want to learn more about vegan life, or send me an email. Do not as gmail dot com. Just watch my videos. What I, ate, what I ate in a day. Yark and Phoenix speech. This stuff's going live. Going live. It's getting real. This is very promising. I didn't expect that. A current affair. A current affair. Maybe we we'll get back on there. What do you think down below? Very promising times. Very promising times. A little bit late. And I think it's never we're never going to go full vegan, but it is really cool to see the vegan movement growing. I love it. That's really, really cool. I just hope people carb up, man. People carb up. As much carbs as you want, as much rice, as much pasta, as much fruit, as much sugar, as much millet, as much oats, whatever carbs you like to eat, what work for you, what you love the taste of, carb the fuck up, please. Don't undercarb, man. Don't be scared of rice, fruit, or sugar. Carb up. Get it done. Peace.